Yes, I'm Dr. Sarah Kieran. I'm with the Department of Work and Employment Studies in the Kemi Business School in the University of Limerick. Um, I was here to share the early findings of a project funded by the Advanced Productivity Skill Net in the Irish Centre for Business Excellence on the future of work. Um, we had the, the subtitle The Future of Work Now because we're very much looking at the impact of automation as it currently sits within industries. The first recommendation certainly at an employee level, the message to employees is a critical examination of their own skill sets. Um, we've done that for them in this report. Um, we have an understanding now of the kinds of skills that are required for positions in the future. And an overarching finding was that employees need to take ownership themselves for their own learning, seeking out opportunities for those skills. But that brings us up then to a management level and creating those opportunities for employees and creating the climate within the workplace where people have the time to learn and the space to learn, sometimes the space to make mistakes because that's very much part of the learning process as well. Um, the, the kinds of skills that we've identified are very important. We talk very much now about this concept of dexterity of skill, the notion that within dexterity we have an appreciation of the sharpness of mind, agility, the, the ability to switch cleanly between different tasks and the kind of dexterity skills we need for the future would be around digital dexterity, interdisciplinary dexterity, so the ability to understand different business functions and move cleanly between them, and intercultural dexterity. Um, given our location and the kinds of organisations we have, we're now dealing with multiple businesses, multiple geolocations, um, and, and I think they're probably uh, the top three, digital dexterity, interdisciplinary dexterity, intercultural dexterity and then maybe just mental and physical dexterity to bring all of those together. Um, automation is here, um, it's already impacting organisations. Um, I think that one in two people across Europe would say automation has already significantly impacted their roles. Um, we are certainly seeing some kinds of business functions or the tasks within those, particularly around generating and reporting on data disappearing completely. All those reports are now becoming automated. So we have a view that in some jobs 80% of what they do will be automated and the 20% of the job where they're interpreting that data, solving problems in the data, giving customer solutions on the back of that data, that's now going to become 80% of the job rather than 20%. The role of the leader in determining the strategy for the business, the operating model for the business of the future is quite profound, it's quite a transformation. Um, however, what we are seeing is that um, a lot of these skills are becoming very transferable. Um, and that's a good thing in that um, you can actually solve new labour markets that you hadn't thought of before but we also need to challenge our perceptions of employees in terms of people who have these kind of innate traits of intercultural dexterity for example um, that they can be brought into the workplace possibly without a degree possibly at an older age than we would typically think because a lot of the skill sets we have found are quite life-wide skills rather than skills you pick up in a four-year business or IT degree.